Um, hey guys, it's the Friday Verse, and I know this goes a little bit past my schedule, um, that I made for the amounts of videos I can do daily and on certain days, but I think I just got ripped off. So, I will say yes, the PlayStation Portable 3000 that I got was, in fact, used, but I didn't think it would be this bad. So, after a while... Okay, so I put it, I put my disc in, right? The UMD disc for Call of Duty Roads to Victory. Clean disc. It just worked earlier. I did five uh, missions out of seven in the American campaign. And, it, and then when I highlighted UMD, it recognizes the title. It showed it on the side. Um, said UMD, highlighted it, showed it on the side. Uh, rolled the intro for it. And so when I selected it, it does this. Hang on, you guys. Selected it. And it turned on, and it went purple. But it just stayed like this, with this blinking light. Like, it just stayed like this. I waited for, like, five, six minutes. And it didn't even pop up with a Call of Duty sign, like this, it's supposed to. It didn't even run the game. I don't even have a disc in it anymore. That's right, guys, I don't even have a disc in it anymore. It's completely stuck, it won't even go back to its own home menu. Like, I don't know what the heck is wrong with this thing. So then, if you had this similar problem, and uh, to turn it off, you have to hold it in for a couple seconds until the screen just goes black. You have to hold the power switch up, it's a PSP 3000. Uh, like I said before, I think I said before anyway, um, until it goes black. Yeah, I seriously think I got ripped off, ripped off. I mean, like, one minute, it's playing one minute, it's, it's not, what the crap? Like, I seriously got ripped off on this PSP 3000, PSP 3000, plus I paid $120 with it, and the first night I play it, I discover, okay, so, if you've played Call of Duty games before, you know you have to aim down the sights, and it helps you aim better. And you can also use it for binoculars, uh, airplanes, guns, at different locations, and sniper rifles. Sniper rifles. Um, hold this in. And, oh yeah, I told you about this. The L button came broke. 120 freaking dollars for this. At first, I was extremely tolerant with it, but now I'm just going to have to send this thing back. So if you are the owner uh, that sold me this thing, I'm watching you, and I will be in your closet tonight. I don't know what that was about, but anyway, this game, you can imagine, it took work. Ugh, don't look. Ugh, I'm done. Thanks you, Sony. Thank you for your piece of crap. I'm going to try to buy a new one, get a refund, and if I don't wear a refund, if I don't get my refund from the seller, and, I mean, I understand... That the, he didn't know it had as much problems as I understand. I completely understand that. I'm going to be decent and charge it before I send it back to him. But if he doesn't accept my extremely fair refund, I have all the parts that it came with. Including the sweet, awesome case that he gave me. So if he doesn't accept my refund, I'm going to totally jump off a bridge wearing a t-shirt that says, Screw you, Sony. Um, not literally, but I mean, you know, you get the message. I... I couldn't see a reason why he wouldn't send it back, though. Anyway, guys, let me know if there's anything that you can do to actually fix this problem. I've went on several sites. I, one of them including the PlayStation Zone help website. Anyway, bye, guys. Um, yeah.